you know, I'm not part of the six foot club that can bang any chick by just looking at her. But the fact that this is still an issue, you know, 30 years I've been on this planet plus right now. It's, uh, I'm not surprised by it, actually. But what does shock me, actually, is that women want to be empowered, but yet they need this six foot five, ten, six foot three bullshit requirement to make them feel happy so they can spread their legs. Meanwhile, a girl in a nightclub could be the same height as her or lower, and she's, fl and she's fucking her. So height requirement doesn't matter when it comes to women, but it, but it has to do it for men who will likely cheat on you any big way because they know they can get any chick in the world. So if you like to be cheated on, sure, go for the, 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 the hot pretty boys. Stupid. So I was doing a lot of rounds, right? Like I'm still doing the, the campaign stuff right now, right? And I go around to a lot of neighborhoods around New York City, right? And I've been in all white neighborhoods, all Chinese neighborhoods, all Spanish neighborhoods, all black neighborhoods, etc., etc. Even all Indian neighborhoods as well. And the the one neighborhood where the height discrepancy between people they walk around with, like where like the the, the it's usually a guy, obviously, uh, where the guy is like at least six inches taller than the girl. White neighborhoods, usually in white neighborhoods. The guy is significantly taller. It's not always the case. It's not always the case there. But generally speaking, that's if I even see them. Because in the white neighborhoods where I go at, they usually live in really nice houses. And they rarely ever go out. Because they want to enjoy their nice, giant, very super expensive property that their parents probably gave them. In one way, shape, or form. So... Whenever I, I knock on a door of, like, a really nice white guy's home, I, I'm usually prepared to look up really, really far. And it's usually that case. So, like, uh, Staten Island, uh, Prospect Park in Brooklyn, um, that kind of, those kind of places. So, yeah, usually the hydrogen frequency is, is pretty freaking high. And they have a, a good amount of kids there as well. Not many people, like I said, going out there for, like, a really good comparison. But by comparison, uh, Corona Avenue, Junction Boulevard in New York City, uh, Queens, if you will, uh, Mexican neighborhoods. There's virtually no height discrepancy. Uh, discrepancy. It's like an inch or two most with the guy, m at most. They're fucking happy as hell. That get the look on their faces. The, the, the joy in the faces of the family, that's that. How do I know they're, how do I know that they're at together and not like brother, sister, or friends, or whatever? Simple, they got a kid with them. They're holding hands, arm in arm. That kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Obvious. The ones in the white neighborhood, for ex uh, by example, the one where she likes comes from, um, they are walking side by side. Uh, you like it with a kid, um, not really affectionate in public. That could be like a PDA thing, but it's more like a, it feels more like a ha ha ha, look at us thing, we're better than you kind of thing, where the Mexican people don't really care what other people think. They're more about what they are, what they are together, where they got to go. They're enjoying each other's company. I rarely ever see lovey dovey stuff like that in the white neighborhoods. They are walking together, but they're not, they're, they're discussing, I guess, serious things there, like, you know, laid, chill back, you know, chill things, laid back, chill things. But in the Spanish neighborhoods I go to, it's not really about that. They're, 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 they're having a good time, but they're very much into each other. Almost every single time, the Spanish people are very much into each other. And the high discrepancy is not even there. Because they don't have this status quota bullshit there where you need to, like, like break your neck to look up at a guy there to be happy. Get the fuck out of here. Um, black, um, black neighborhoods there. Um, high discrepancy is definitely there as well. Um, and the look on their faces to each other is like, they're having a good time, talking about weed or whatever the fuck, 
I'm not kidding, by the way. Uh, I've seen the cars. Um, so, like, they're having a, a, a good time with each other. No, definitely. Um, but the height discrepancy is very real in, in those things as well. The guy has to be at least six feet tall to be hanging out with, like, a black chick. I, I'm being dead ass. Um, if you're even close to her height there, she's far, far away from you. She's barely been talking to you. It's really it's ridiculous over there. So black people demand it. White people demand it. You know, the Americanized Western bullshit, you know, brainwash it there. It's, it's demanded. If you're not six feet tall and you're talking to a chick, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be real. It's not going to be serious. I've seen thuggy, thuggy, hood looking, raggedy ass, um, fucking like pants hanging down over their ass bullshit there, pulling chicks in neighborhoods there. And these girls like are loving it over there. They are the, the 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 child will likely end up like robbing somebody or killing somebody, killing himself or whatever. It's quite apparent because she's stupid, he's stupid. What do you think's gonna happen with the kid? You think they're gonna actually care? No. At least the white people, you can tell they care. I rarely ever seen. It's 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 not impossible, definitely not impossible. But I've definitely seen a rare amount of black people uh, that are couples together pushing strollers with their kid. By comparison, I've seen in, in uh, Mexican neighborhoods there more likely they walk their kid. But that definitely that shows over there. But like you know, it, it's it's yeah. But in white neighborhoods, more often than not, that you'll see like them with a shoulder with their kid. But not in Mexican or black neighborhoods with their kids. No, definitely not. Indian neighborhoods, height discrepancy is not really a huge thing. Definitely not as brainwashed, if you will. But it's it's definitely in there, but definitely not as much. In their movies, they, they make fun of some guy's heights. In movies, some guy's weight as well. Uh, girls' weight, there, that kind of stuff. In the movies, still stuff like that. When I see them in real life, when I'm knocking their doors there, when I see them around the neighbor, in their neighborhoods there, uh, the, the the height discrepancy is is not really there. But Mexicans, it doesn't really exist. I'm just saying by comparison, uh, doesn't really exist at all. Uh, I rarely ever seen like a really tall Spanish guy with like a Spanish a short Spanish girl. It doesn't really happen over in those neighborhoods. And there's plenty of kids, plenty of love going around there. But for some reason, these women, I was going to say something else there, demand a guy be X feet tall for them to be happy. Yeah, sure. i got a bridge to sell you, too. So, I find it very, very funny that all these women out there who put, like, six feet plus in the profile, like, demanding shit there, doesn't know a goddamn thing about relationships. If they put that requirement in there and nothing else, you know that girl itself damaged goods. One billion percent there. I need a guy to be tall and then he's going to be happy? You're fucking delusional. Which you can see my face. You're fucking delusional. There's zero chance that's going to work out in the end. Temporarily, until he gets his rocks off in you and then he bounces... And then you're wondering why he, he ghosted you. Yeah, exactly. You fucking del you you deserve every bit of pain and suffering that the six foot monster will give you. You deserve every single bit of it. Maybe you like this. Maybe you are a girl who wants a really tall, good looking Chad guy to destroy you because in your mind you deserve it. You don't know why you deserve it, but you think you deserve to be treated like shit. And you're going to go about the next fucking day or week or whatever and say, I deserve the best. You deserve, you deserve something all right there, but I can't see it on YouTube. So, with that being said there, in happy neighborhoods, truly happy neighborhoods there, it doesn't matter what, what height you are. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you are happy. And happiness does not come with height. Well, it it does for the men, but for the women, eh, I I would say something, but you X's you X X's will never learn. 